On this episode of RC Kicks, we're checking out this, the brand new Cougar from Schumacher Racing. It's finally here. Yes, we've got a new vintage product from Schumacher. Hot off the presses, it arrived first thing this morning. Yes, I know I should be building my RC10 Wells car, but I just couldn't help myself. We've got this, let's unbox it and see what you get for your money. Hit it, Charlie. So this is kit K194 from Schumacher and it's their next offering from their vintage lineup. And it's the Cougar which basically follows on from the Top Cat. Now what's the main difference as they do kind of look roughly the same but there is some vital differences. Mainly the one that stands out the most is the front end has been changed from the lay down shocks and the crash back system that has been taken out and thrown in the bin and a more traditional front end has been fitted to this one with an upright with uh, shocks like you'd kind of see on a lot of buggies. I'd love to know why because I must admit I am very impressed with the front end of this car. The design aspects of it, the crash back system, mainly for my driving, has saved me having to buy front arms for this car. So I really liked it, but I'm guessing when you get to like a the certain level um, when you're racing these, because obviously this was a vintage racing buggy, that it just performed better. But for me, I love the front end of this and I've modified the front end of my Top Cat quite a lot, especially with the track changes and a few other bits and pieces like the brass at the front nose. Maybe it's to do with the balance and the ride height, setting the ride height. That can be a little bit more challenging on the Top Cat. Anyway, I digress. Now, a lot of you might go, well, it's just the Top Cat with an upright. Well, there is a few other changes. Now, the body isn't the same. I know it kind of looks like it is, but it is different. The actual windows are much longer now. The sort of sunroof, if you will, whatever you want to call it, has changed. The posts are slightly different and the scoops are missing from the back section and the side scallops, if you will, are different. Can you actually fit one of these on a top cap? Probably not because the front end has changed quite a lot. Now the chassis plate itself the stamped aluminium chassis plate looks to be exactly the same. I measured it up against the other one. So you can take a top cat and probably put a front end from the Cougar on it. Now the problem is that that whole front end is gonna be in lots of different bits and pieces. So getting hold of a whole front end is pretty much gonna be impossible. But it does mean things, certain things have been pushed across from the Cougar that have come from the Top Cat. So if you're running a Top Cat in uh, iconic races and stuff like that, that means parts are gonna be available again, which is really cool. Now, I don't know if there's anything else that's been changed. Hopefully when I build it, I'll cross-reference it to see if there's any small changes in the gearbox or anything like that. But right now, I honestly don't know. So let's unbox it and see what you get for your money. Now, things are packed really tightly. So once you kind of take things out of this box, it's really difficult to get everything back in again. So uh, I've had a quick look through and that's why the body is separate. But uh, yeah, there's the body. Cutting it out, no issues at all. It's pretty straightforward. The only bit that's going to be a bit difficult is around this section here. But if you take your time, you should be fine. All the rest is pretty straightforward. The quality of these is really good. They're very thick. So there you go. Right, the, just before we open it up, let's have a look at some of the options that are available. Now, some of these will cross over from the Top Cat, the U7245, which is the alloy eccentric bearings. Then you've got the uh, alloy washer carriers and U7243. These are new for this one, as far as I know, which is U7424, which is alloy lightweight lipo nuts. Because obviously on this kit, you can run a shorty lipo in it, as well as an NIMH. Then you've got your U7600, which is the optional pro transmission, if you're gonna be running a something a little bit hotter, especially if you're going brushless. So I'm guessing that not much is really gonna be changed if this is exactly the same transmission that you could put in the top cat. Um, also, you can get things from Muzu Models if you're in the UK. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, no sponsorship or anything like that, but he does some seriously cool stuff as I have his gearbox and slipper clutch in my top cat. 
Um, then you can get the sexy carbon stuff, U8298, which is the carbon fiber front shocks, and U8302, which is the rear uh, shock mount in carbon. I'm not sure if I'll upgrade these, probably, uh, well, we'll see. Maybe I'll do an update video later on down the line when we've put some bits and pieces. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a shelf queen or an actual driver, because I've got my top cat as a driver. Maybe this will just end up being a shelf queen. If that's the case, don't really see any point putting any of these upgrades in it right i think that pretty much covers everything so let's open it up now schumacher does things a little bit differently especially if you have only really built tamiya kits the way it works in here is each bag has a number to it a step so you follow the steps step one step two step three step four and everything you need for that step is actually in that bag now this i really like so it's a bit difficult to actually do more without taking them out, but there's loads and loads of bags. The only thing with this sort of way of building, you end up with hundreds of staples. There must be hundreds and hundreds of bags and hundreds and hundreds of staples, and they go everywhere. But basically you just take out step one, open that bag, use it and open step two and carry on, carry on, carry on. So there you go. So they've just bundled like the groups. So like the first group you'll need, then it moves on to the second group and so on and so forth. But what's in the actual bags is hard to see. There's a couple of bearings in there. There's the actual upright that makes it mainly different. Um, it'd be interesting to see how the hardware, whether the hardware's improved or not. I honestly don't know. A lot of people when building these have issues with the rear um, drive shafts. There is a knack to it and there's a tool that they include in here. You need to use that but you can end up with very sore fingers, especially if you're building a four wheel drive one. Being that this is two wheel drive, well, that's not too much of a problem. Uh, a few more bearings, can't really see a great deal in here. It's the uh, spur gear, uh, one of the belts. Then we get the tires. Tires are exactly the same as the top cat. Uh, inserts are already in there for you, just to make life a little bit easier. So there we go. Rims and tires are exactly the same as the top cat. There's the chassis, stamp chassis, amazingly strong and amazingly lightweight. So I can really see why they went for this. It is a very clever design, but I'm guessing very expensive to set up the stamping tool for this, but surprisingly good, I must admit. My mind's got a few marks on it, but not that that makes a big difference. What else have we got in here? That's the shocks and there's the uh, spur gear pinion cover. So as you can see, hundreds and hundreds of small bags and the arms. And then that's the bull diff there. And then what else have we got in here? Some more suspension parts. turnbuckles and then we've got the rear spoiler with the side plates and some sticky pads and then we get the oil bags what have we got there loctite and a few tools and molly grease then we have the manual as you must admit the manual is uh it's, it feels pretty good quality i have to say they've done a good job with that they've used good quality uh paper it looks like it's got some sort of coating on it so that's really really nice and very easy to follow you just do step bag one bag a step one bag a step two and then just wait wait and you actually start with doing the front end and then i'm pretty much sure that once you get past that it goes into the standard manual but it's you know it has been updated all the way through so the manual has had some work on it it's not just a direct port from the top cat but uh, that's pretty much it. Then you get some <laughs> cool decals, very retro decals. Now, Schumacher doesn't do like a whole theme. Yes, they do a box art, but you don't have to really do that because the stickers, like you paint this up how you like. The stickers are just stickers you can put on it. 
So really, this is one of the cars where you can actually really paint it up as you like, unless you deliberately want to get out of your way to mimic the box art. So I'll, I'm thinking I'll probably end up painting mine the same as my top cat. I honestly don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. And then you've got some window masks in here for painting up. Are you getting a Cougar yourself? If you are, turn to the side of the box where the sticky label, where it says K194. Look at the bottom and it says batch. And it should be batch 84930, batch one. And then there's three digits after that. This is 095. So this is kit 95 in the first batch. Comment below what your kit number is and the lowest number will win some RC Kick stickers. I'll stick them in an envelope and post them out to you free of charge. But no cheating because I'll ask you to send me a photograph of your label. So before you go, I've got number two. Uh, yeah, you've got to supply me the photograph. Plus, if there's any scammers that are watching this and they're going to comment, you've won a prize, what's that me, this number, that's all rubbish. I'm not going to do it that way. Um, I'll just keep a lookout down the list and then I'll just reach out to anybody who's got the lowest number. Uh, and I will contact you from my account and it'll be RC Kicks, not RC Kicks underscore hashtag four slash whatever. Spammers, go away. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.